Today at six, the UN Secretary General on a peace mission to Moscow to try to end the war here in Ukraine. This evening, Antonio Guterres has been meeting the Russian President Vladimir Putin. I came to Moscow as a messenger of peace. My objective and my agenda is strictly linked to save lives and to reduce suffering. And tonight we report from a village on one of the fault lines of the war here, close to the border between Ukraine, Russia and Belarus. Also on tonight's programme, the former Radio 1 DJ facing multiple allegations of sexual misconduct. Seven women have accused Tim Westwood of predatory and unwanted sexual behaviour, abusing his position in the music business. He denies the allegations. He kept putting his hand on my leg and stroking my leg and touching my face. Running his hands in my hair like, what are you doing? Like, stop touching me. Yet more trouble for P&O. Its European Causeway ferry arrives back in port after more than an hour adrift in the Irish Sea. Hundreds lined the streets for the funeral of Harry Billinge, the D-Day veteran who raised tens of thousands for the British Normandy Memorial. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, a huge evening ahead at the Etihad. Manchester City prepare for their Champions League semi-final. Real Madrid, the opponents, can they get the upper hand? Hello, good evening. Welcome to the BBC News at Six. We're live here in the Ukrainian capital. Well, as the war in this country rages on into its third month, the United Nations Secretary General is trying to stop the fighting with a peace mission to Moscow today. Antonio Guterres is currently meeting the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Then he will travel here to Kyiv for talks with Ukraine's President Zelensky. But hopes of any kind of peace deal are not high. Russia has warned NATO is waging a proxy war by sending weapons to Ukraine. And today, delegates from more than 40 countries have been meeting in Germany to discuss increasing military support for Ukraine. Our Russia editor, Steve Rosenberg, reports now from Moscow.